Okay, everyone. So now we are going to create a Windows application where we will be taking the two numbers from the user and we will find the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And these results we want to show into the text boxes. So first of all, we are going to start with the new project. So we are going to the file, new project. Then afterward, we are selecting Windows application. We are giving the name of the project. Let's say we are giving a calculate. So this is the name of project we are giving. Then press OK. Now here in the Solution Explorer, we are having the name of project, which is calculate. And on the left hand side, we are having the toolbox. So first of all, we want the two numbers. So we are displaying to the user the label. So first of all, I am dragging a label one here and the text I am changing that is first number. So that means user has to enter the first number. Click back. First number is there. Again, I will drag and drop one more label here. Going to the properties, text, second number. So here we are taking the second number. You can see that these are displayed. Now, these numbers we should take from the user. That's why we need two text boxes. So this is the first text box. This is the second text box. Now that we have taken, now we want that whenever user click on the button. So we are taking the button here. And in this button, I'm changing the name. Let's say click. You can give any name. Now on the click of button, we want that we should give the addition. Now, first of all, I am dragging and dropping a label and giving them the name that it is for add. Then afterward, another label and I'm taking it like say subtract. And then afterward, the next label we are taking, let's say that is for multiply. So again, we are changing here, multiply. Then afterward, the last one, we want label that is for the divide. So this is for the divide. We have changed the name. So these are the full labels which are present. Now we want that their result should be coming to the text boxes. So this is the text box one. This is text box two. Now you can see that we are not having space. So I'm clicking over there and I'm just extending it. Now we are taking the another text box. Let's say this one. So this is the text box three. Then afterward, we are having the text box, right? So these are the four text boxes. They are not properly aligned. Their space is not proper. So I'm going to click all of them. I will go to the format. Then which type of alignment I want? These are the horizontal. So I want that horizontal alignment should be equal. So you can see that their alignment is now equal. Now above them, let's say this is for the divide. So I'm putting the divide here. Then afterward, this is for the multiply. This is for the subtract and this is for the add. So this way we have taken all these boxes. If you want that, they should be more close. So I'm just clicking all of them and just I am just putting them down so that they are more closer to their text boxes. Now, I want that they should be aligned also because we are having more space here. Then we can do it. Let's say we are clicking them and we are giving some space here. So that is totally up to us. Now, this is the click button. I'm putting into the middle for more attractive option. And again, I'm selecting all of them and just I'm also putting them into the middle so by putting the arrow key or by simply dragging and dropping we can do it now the extra space we can just put back so this is the form which is ready let's say this form name i want to take with my name so i can just take my name also so here the form is ready now if i run this form now it will show us uh, output. This is the output which will be shown to us. So here we have to add two numbers. Now on the click, this will show the result. Now, first of all, we should understand that if I am 
entering some number let's say which text boxes i want i want that text box 1 and text box 2 these are required so on the click of button the action should be performed so i'm double clicking over there automatically coding is coming button underscore click so let's say i'm taking two variables let's say dim a comma b as double so i'm taking two variables of double type so it is showing me these are the unused variable warning giving to me now in the a i am taking the input from the text box one this is the text box one from where i have to take the input so a is equal to text box one putting the tab dot text again putting the tab so that means from text box one whatever text you are writing a will take but I am taking double, double is a value. That's why I am converting this text to the value. So I'm putting all this thing into the function, val function. So text box one, text converted to value and given to A. That means A is having the text which is written inside the text box one and that value is taken. Now from text box two, again, we have to do the same thing. So B is equal to text box to put tab dot text put tab again. Tab basically complete the sentence and we are going to convert this to the value. So now text box one and two values are coming to variable A and B. In text box three, I want the addition. So simply I will say I don't need any other variable simply I can say that text box 3 again putting the tab space or simply put the dot dot text is equal to a plus b so means in text box 3 their addition is coming now in text box 4 we are having a minus b so here we are writing text box 4 dot text that is equal to a minus b so their subtraction is coming now in text box 5 we want their multiplication so simply we can say that text box 5 dot text is equal to a into b so here we are having the multiplication similarly if we are going to the next text box text box 6 so we are going there text box 6 we are scrolling down dot text that is equal to we want the division so a divided by b so here you can see that all the three text boxes are showing the result now is the time to run the program so if i run this program let's say if i have first number like 8 and second number let's say 2 so if i click here you can see that First of all, text box 1 and 2, these two are going to variable A and B. So in the coding, on the click of button, I have declared two variables of double type. In A and B, 8 and 2 are going. In text box 3, 4, 5 and 6, 3, 4, 5 and 6, the result is showing. So 8 plus 2 is 10, 8 minus 2 is 6, 8 into 2 is 16 and 4. Now I am taking another case. Let's say if I close this program, now you can see that there are multiple text boxes available here. If I am the user, I can also put the values here. Let's say if I am putting the values here. Now I can click the button. So that means user should be aware where to enter the value. So we should do something. At least we should disable them so that user cannot enter something because the correct option is user should be entering here and here obviously on the clicking of button the values will be changed but why to give the option to the user to enter here they should not be clickable so now we want that whenever the program start these four text boxes should not work means at least we do not click there and we should not change the value no this should not be possible so we are going here on the form now, if I double click on this form, this is the form, anywhere in this form, if I double click, 
Now, form one underscore load. What is the meaning? If I click on this, you can see that this is form one. So on form one, if I double click form one load, you understand that whenever we make any project and we run it, then we want that something should be there into the startup. Just like you start the window, some items are already in your start menu or maybe into the status bar. So some items already started, just like your antivirus automatically start. So similarly, we want that there should be some activities which should be performed automatic when form start. So that's why I double click on the form and I'm saying form load means whenever I click the play button, this is called form loading. So form is loaded into the environment and in that time there should be some code that should run. So this is called the startup code or the form load code. Now we want that these text boxes, text box 3, 4, 5 and 6. How I come to the, their names? If I click there, go to the property, text box 3, text box 4, text box 5 and text box 6. So they should be disabled. Disabled means they should be available to show the result, but we should not click on them. So we are going on the coding in the form load. Double click on the form, coding is here. So we are having text box 3 dot enable is equal to false. That means all the text boxes by default are truly enabled. Means if we are saying text box 3 dot enable true, so they are enabled. But we are making them false. False means they should be disabled. Similarly, we are going for the next text box text box 4 dot enable equal to false means they are not enabled 3 and 4 are not enabled so 3 and 4 are not enabled 5 and 6 so we are again going for the 5 and 6 so we are writing text box 5 dot enable equal to false similarly text box 6 dot enable is equal to false that means these are no more enable and when this code will run whenever we start the form now check it if i am clicking on the play button or start debugging you can see that the change the form is loaded here add subtract multiply and divide these text boxes are no more clickable they are available but they are into the disabled mode because whenever I click on this play button then form start and what is that form load and during the form load this code run form loading and it disable the four text boxes three four five six so three four five and six are disabled and now rest of the code we know that I will press eight here and two here I cannot click any other text box and I simply click on this one, you can see that these two values are going into A and B and 3, 4, 5, 6 are showing the result. The result is shown to us, but into the disabled mode. So this is the Windows application by which we can take the two numbers and showing the result into the text boxes. And here we have learned how to disable the text boxes.